So today we're here uh, to discuss the uh, business recruitment survey that was commissioned by the DSA last year. The basic concept being that the Somerville downtown needs to expand its uh, selection of retail and restaurant and other amenities. Uh, the purpose of the study was first to solicit feedback of persons who live, work, or shop in Somerville of their opinions of the current mix of retail restaurant services within the borough, gain a sense of their preferences of types of businesses they would like to, to solicit, and also develop a list of potentially desirable tenants to work with, uh, existing property owners to establish mutual goals and communication to improve the retail culture. We also want to gain insight into the demographics and willingness of people to participate in electronic feedback for future programs and uh, possibly connect with any potential responders that were interested in opening it. So the survey was conducted from June until September of last year in 2011. The survey was conducted uh, both online and with response cards provided at uh, certain restaurants and retail locations. 404 were returned. Uh, in total, and um, uh, those items were developed by Ido Marketing. The tabulation uh, was done through an XML file and a filterable spreadsheet. It was done um, mostly by Uncommon Marketing, and the free form responses were categorized into broad similar groups. Uh, then ones with most similar responses were analyzed. Basically, what that means is as people had free form to answer whatever they wanted with regards to the businesses. Uh, we categorized them and kind of uh, grouped them together. So uh, there were some segmentation questions, i.e. gender, age, where they live, where they work, uh, experience level, how often they come. And then the rating choices very uh, briefly, there's four, which kind of force you to go favorably or unfavorably when you have an even number. So you had excellent, consistently delivers all the choices I need, good, which is generally serves my needs, or fair, sometimes has what I need, inadequate, does not serve my needs. Each of four categories, categories was rated uh, by that four level criteria, restaurant, retail and specialty shops, consumer services, i.e. hair, dry cleaning, etc., professional services, financial, legal, health, uh, then they were asked what is missing from each category and they could give any answer they wanted and hopefully suggesting uh, something within that category that was new and additional questions were asked um, for stores that they seen out elsewhere that they'd like to see them come here. Um, what size of a store would they want to see opened if they were interested in opening a store themselves. Emails and also event uh, segment questions. So basically the responders were two to one female to male, about half live in town, half did not, and about three quarters uh, did not work in town, but that meant about a quarter of them did. Uh, segment of Somerville employment, if they were working in town, roughly about uh, half of them were in the professional area, uh, another quarter was in government, the remainder were in retail, restaurant, and service. So we had a pretty good cross-section, 32% uh, was in the 25 to 40 bracket, 48% in the 41 to 60 bracket. Uh, from a marketing standpoint, that, that's uh, a pretty strong showing of the demographics you're looking for for targeting for marketing purposes. Uh, we had uh, under 25 of 5% and over 60 of 12.9%. Uh, frequencies of the how often they visit downtown varied greatly from you know, once a year to daily, obviously uh, daily would be your, probably your employees uh, that work downtown. But a good portion of them were in the monthly, semi-monthly, weekly sector, which. So why did they come to Somerville? 90% of them said they come for to dine. Three quarters of them have come for events and about 60% come to shop. And then professional and consumer services, I expect, are a little. So <clears throat> how do we say whether these were quality responses or not? Well, 238 
um, where roughly 60% of the responders provide an email address to be contacted to be involved in future market research. Uh, so they didn't just, you know, click through the survey and not really care too much. They actually wanted to be uh, a part of the process. 83% of the response provided some sort of unique suggestion or feedback. Um, so whereas they could just select the one through four criteria, um, a, a very good portion of them decided to give their own responses. 150 responders provided specific examples of stores and other towns that they wanted to see in Somerville. So how did uh, the restaurants rate? Well, obviously, we kind of know that the, uh, the restaurants do pretty well. Um, overall, everybody rated them good to excellent, uh, regardless of age, um, gender, or whether they lived in town or not. Uh, the, the one distinguishing thing was that people from out of town rated the restaurants much higher than the people in. And you'll see that throughout the other categories, too. So food choices most desired, uh, 268 comments in this area. The number one that came out was a uh, high-quality Mexican or Latino restaurant. Um, some of the comments were, you know, table-side guacamole preparation, you know, uh, high-end uh, seafood, Mexican-type uh, food. Uh, coffee at Tea House came in second. Um, some of the comments were around a, a good place to sit, have a coffee, you know, do internet, uh, some dessert type stuff. Uh, a sports bar was third. Um, higher end is what they're looking for, uh, similar to like in Egan's, which is up in West uh, West Orange and Montclair. Pluck them in, Chimney Rock uh, was mentioned. Willie McBride's was mentioned. Uh, casual family chain. Um, some comments around how Alfonso's is one of the few kind of family-oriented places, and they'd like to see others, so we have Carabas, Outback, Joe's Crab Shack, and some others were mentioned. Healthy organic restaurant, a real ice cream shop, I guess that means as opposed to yogurt or Italian ice, and uh, vegetarian or more Indian choices, barbecue soul food, uh, high-quality Jewish or Italian deli, uh, Nana's and Livingston was mentioned, uh, late-night dining entertainment, which, you know, we've uh, discussed around town for quite a long time. And then we have uh, a, a steakhouse and a brew pub. Um, so these are all the responses and where they kind of ranked against each other. You can kind of see there's a, a few that stood out um, and then a bunch that were kind of selected by a few. So then we move into the retail uh, shopping and ratings. Obviously, as we expected, the um, the retail ratings was uh, a little bit lower than the uh, restaurant ratings. They were rated fair to good, again, out of town, um, slightly higher than people that live in. So what were the top choices? Um, obviously, clothing and shoes top the list with 34 and 18 percent of the, uh, the suggestions made. Uh, fell into those two categories. Some of the specific areas of clothing and shoes were common and tallied in a, uh, a separate uh, sheet that will be coming up. Top other retail was um, uh, gift shops uh, like a Vera Bradley Backdoor, which we've had, be which was a store that was here before, and actually a couple people asked that they come back. And uh, specialty foods such as a Trader Joe's, a Chocolatier, a Nut Shop, Butcher, Cheese, Seafood, Cigars, uh, Carter and Cavero actually understand we're having a cigar shop open, so that's pretty good. Uh, the Spice Store in Westfield was mentioned, and um, a bookstore, not like uh, Barnes & Noble, but more like a independent bookstore or a specialty bookstore. Um, health food store, uh, such as a GNC or vitamin shop, organic grocer, etc. Some of the other ones that were that came through were craft stores, like for scrapbooking, etc., cookware and housewares, art galleries, uh, or retailer of arts, like a, uh, a co-op, like in New Brunswick, art co-op or craftsman, uh, sports, recreation, general goods and hardware, music video, video games, toys, um, educational toys, a name brand drugstore within the downtown, uh, the 
name brand drug stores tend to be on the periphery of the town as as they are right now. Uh, a coffee house again came up in just kind of a different format. A bakery special mention was made to one that was open in the evenings. Electronics, computer, computer repair, and cooking classes in Westfield was mentioned. Clothing breakdown, uh, generic clothing, anthropology, uh, normal mid-sized program, uh, clothing stores such as Gap, Banana Republic, small mall chains that are generally moving out of the large malls now into other locations. Women's clothing, PC Laven, Ann Taylor, Lane Bryant were all mentioned. Boutique, high end, Jose Banks, Talbots, or unique lines of women's and men's clothes. And then just kind of men's clothing in general, kids' clothing in general, specialty clothes such as uh, leatherware, sports wedding and bridesmaid, western, kind of interesting, Lululemon, exercise wear, ethnic clothes. And then in the shoe area, just shoes in general, built right, foot solutions was mentioned. Avenue and Catherine's from a women's perspective, budget shoes as so like a pay less or an outlets and a couple people want more high end shoes. So other notes under the retail section. There were ten other suggestions that we didn't itemize here. Comments around too many antiques, second hand or urban clothiers, many comments about how all is high end and low end, no middle of the ground. Uh, again, about the back door, about a dozen comments regarding closing too early uh, during dinner hours or there's no shopping. One suggestion around having directories similar to malls at the parking lots on the Main Street, which I thought I'd mention here because I thought... Consumer services rank, uh, we're very middle of the road. Under 25 kind of stood out as ranking the consumer services a little higher. And then the professional services was pretty even across the board. Again, out of town, um, for some reason, higher than in town residents. Consumer and professional service requests. An exercise gym was number one. Yoga, Pilates, that type of thing. Boutique movie theater, performing arts center, high-end spa services. Uh, shipping, copying, printing type store, uh, like a UPS store. Uh, and then 18 others were mentioned in various fashions from photo printing and framing, educational classes, um, English language school, green dry cleaner I thought was kind of something interesting that uh, came out. Madison and a retail brokerage. So if you look at the different types of shops and segments broken out by the different um, segmentation factors, you have out-of-town residents favoring professional services, retail, and restaurants quite a bit higher than the in-town residents. And then with the exception of consumer services with the youth, gender and age was relatively equal for the different sectors. What events are most popular in the downtown? We do do a lot of events downtown that bring foot traffic to the main street and also to engage people at a different uh, level and interact with people. And uh, We have um, certain events that came out very high. Uh, the sp spring and fall street fair and the uh, Friday cruise nights Obviously, those are multi-day events, so they um, uh, came in with the most votes. After that was the Somerville St. Patrick's Parade, Memorial Bike Races, and the Farmer's Market, and then the Sampler Day. And then we had a couple in the hundreds range, uh, the Jazz Festival and the Arts and Division, but those are newer events. And then um, much further back was the Friday Night Concerts. So it's just a note that the um, cruise nights are 
obviously multi-night. Some events that were submitted. Rock music on Thursday nights or improve the Friday night selections for younger audiences. An ethnic food day. Um, possibly held on Division Street. Better hours for the farmer's market. I understand that that's underway. Uh, sidewalk sales during other events. Example for trick-or-treating. Oktoberfest. Wine tasting. Chef tastings. Keep the businesses open in the evening, especially on Friday nights. Again, an allusion to the fact that the retail sector closes early uh, compared to the dining hours. Exercise in a park on the uh, court lawn. thought that was kind of neat. Ghost tours. Why not? Facebook specials for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I thought it was a pretty interesting marketing tool that you could think about. Uh, frequent purchase rewards. Entering the purchase online, getting points type thing. Movie nights on the courthouse lawn, that would be pretty cool. Pet pet friendly stickers, so stores that are pet friendly. Uh, you could do a single type of sticker for the entire downtown. Um, adding blues in addition to the jazz for the jazz, for the jazz festival. Uh, pedestrian stroll days closed down the street uh, for kids and families, biking, walking, etc. Fashion show. Nothing's really happening on the 4th of July, right? And possibly a chili cook-off. So in conclusion, although the restaurant sector is viewed very favorably, there was significant suggestions for improvement and expansion. By far the weakest response was for the retail sector, but there were some good, very good viable suggestions for businesses to uh, try and recruit for that sector. Consumer and professional services overall were viewed favorably. However, there are some excellent suggestions to improve that sector as well. The age demographics from 25 to 45 viewed the services and products with a keen eye to provide a desirable experience and give it a come back. And so some of the recommendations, uh, the events work. So update and continue with new events. Uh, the new directors should spend time on the road each month recruiting businesses to open locations in Somerville. You know, that would be, hey, you got a great business out in Westfield, why don't you open a second location here? Keep up with the contacts who submitted a study for further input and develop and share recruiting plans with property owners and